Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to reading two episodes three and four of Nyan Nyan by Yuri. So let's go ahead and get started with episode three. And three, two, one, go. Jesus. <laughs> Oh, that's what, of course, makes sense, stuff. Oh, tuna. Or was that salmon? Help your older sister out. It makes me wonder where they're going to go. I mean, because I don't think they're going to travel outside because, one, it's just the four of them. I don't think any of them have enough money to go to, like, Tokyo or Osaka or Kyoto. Like, no, 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 no. So I think it's just going to be a nice little trip just in, in the environment, in the surroundings, somewhere pretty. I mean, episode one, how... You, you did the freaking, yes, let's have, like, our dessert by a big behind cherry blossom tree. That The scenery, the ambiance. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Mwah. So, if we get something like that again with this, 10 out of 10, of course. Like, obviously, we're only three episodes into this show, and I already fucking love this shit too damn much. It's... It's so freaking cute, and I can't with them. They're all fucking adorable. I need ibuprofen. I do. I'm in so much pain right now. Even though I'm all, oh my god, happy! <laughs> Oh, nice. <laughs> stop talking. Stop. Stop talking. Right, I mean, this is totally fun. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, made a whole bunch. <laughs> Good 
Good job, baby. Oh. But you just... Yeah, you just hurt the plant. This healing. You gotta go backwards. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Now you try. There you go. Yeah! I know. Huh? <laughs> Not the scarecrow. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't. It's still not satisfying. <laughs> yeah, not to me. Come on, come help. Uh oh. Yes. But remember, she is short, so, but. Mud is almost like quick, well, slush mud, quicksand y. So, yeah, it's bound to happen. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. And I was like, yes, I'm about to eat. So, you know, I got to be ready for everything. We're not doing this like Sucker Punch, babe. This is not Rocket and Sweet Pea. <laughs> Make sure you skip next time. You have a machine. Girl, oh my god. Then what was the point of the trip? Right? Yeah. They look so good. Mm. Yeah. Right? So you can't really talk about that. Seniority is always the best thing. When you're the oldest, you get everything first. Mm. Damn. It's like if someone spoils, like, a character death for you, and then you get to watch the show, and then you actually get to see the character death. Oh. A hundred scary videos. <laughs> 
So, are you going to watch it? You sure? Okay, yeah, you are older now, but can you truly handle this? 14 doesn't matter, girl. Hell, I was 12 and I love the shit about horror movies. <laughs> I got scared. <laughs> no, 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 no switching. You, you stay here. You stay with me today. I surely did. Yes, she is. I don't think I would be able to sleep after you hit the crap out of her dad. It's okay. Just close your eyes and go to sleep. Be all right. Do we exist? The questions that we all ask ourselves in the middle of the night. <laughs> she already gone. That question will never be answered. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't lie. <laughs> Come on. Mario's the young oldest, but she can't lie. She's like, no.
Ooh, speaking of which, hmm. I need to clean. I, I'm the type of person where, like, I feel like my life is better if I am organized. But if there are days where I'm extremely tired, I don't clean. I don't clean my room. And I need to clean my room. I would feel better if I clean my room. Besides everything else. God, sometimes I love being a woman. Sometimes. Just right now, no. Okay, you know where it is? And how long are you two going to stay here until you go home? <laughs> There's no food, though. Do you have any blankets? <laughs> we know that didn't last long. <laughs> <laughs> no. Not the Kit Kat. Hopefully it's not melted. Honestly, that's what I'm really craving. I'm craving chocolate. So the first time you ran away from home. <laughs> I'm guessing you went home. To prove mom wrong. You ready to go home?
Babes, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Nowhere! No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just because Right. You already know. Oh, I'm about to say. Because there is no way heck. Unless you are that tired. Which, yes, I've had days where I've been extremely tired. And fallen asleep uber quickly and such. But them having their cute little field trip. Even though it wasn't, you know, up to Natsumi's standards and such. It was still enjoyable. Also, yes, the backstory Oh, not to me and her sister literally running away from home. And Mari, she's like trying to lie to her mom and be like, yeah, there was a cat, but it was like, no, she's so cute once again. <laughs> like, poor baby, she can't lie to save her life. Oh, that's fucking adorable, my God. But it does make you wonder and ask, like, okay, so this is to everybody who specifically is watching this series or just like maybe some random person who just like finds this video and probably wonders what the heck is going on. What was your favorite field trip? This could be a kid anytime from when you were from elementary school up to high school or I don't think there is ever really college field trips and stuff but or even if you took a trip or a vacation um somewhere what was your favorite trip i think as of right now for me probably my favorite trips that i've took with schools um probably were, were my high school trips for course those were like the best trips for me and the fact that i got to leave florida <laughs> um, I got to leave Florida. I mean, because mind you, as a former military brat, like I, I only traveled to like three or four places to live like for a permanent time and then, you know, back to a certain place and stuff. So Florida is like my, my, my home home and such. And the other two places that I lived in that I vaguely, one I vaguely remember because I was really young and of course the other one I, I've talked about where I was like I lived there for six fucking years so I consider that place like my other home away from home but I'm never moving back there. Why? Because it's in the middle of the fucking USA and there's tornadoes and I'm not in the mood to deal with tornadoes. <laughs> Tornado season in Nebraska is like hell on earth. Uh, are like really worse than hurricanes here in Florida. If I had to choose between tornadoes and tornadoes and hurricanes, I would rather choose a hurricane than a tornado. Um, but I think yeah, the the quarter ships that I took. So not only going to Disney not once, not twice, but three times. Because before that, I hadn't been to Disney World since I was a kid, like a little little kid. I think I was like maybe two or three or four. And of course, vaguely, I don't really remember that because duh, baby. Um. I went to New York, I went to Atlanta, I went to New Orleans, and such. Practically everything on the east side of the United States. I've never um, personally been over on the other side of the world for U the United States. So, we could say east to midwest. <laughs> 
<laughs> such. Have not been to... I, I would love to go to Vegas. Of course, that is my dream. Um, besides Japan, obviously. Uh, would love to go to Seattle, Washington. I, I've, he I've heard and seen very good things about Seattle, Washington. So that will be a goal one day and such. And of course, yes, the biggest journey that I would love to take out of, as of right now is fucking Japan. I would love to get the fuck out of this country for like either a week or two or 30 days. And just to experience a different culture and a different life and stuff. And I think that would be really good for me. Um, and such. I think, it's like, the longest time I've ever been away from home, once again, the chorus trips, uh, that was, like, I think almost, like, a two, almost a week and a half or almost two weeks and such. But I can't imagine, like... <laughs> Not see me and Mari being gone for like a week and a half and then come home and <laughs> their mom like be like, Where the fuck was y'all? Like, mm -mm. <laughs> But no, because they would, I, I know I wouldn't last in the wilderness if I ran away from home. Uh uh, no. No, no. <laughs> but go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode four. Okay, episode four and three, two, one, go. Mm -hmm. <gasps> nice. Nice, baby. Oh, my chicken to keep a bud boy. <laughs> Shut up. That it is. Yeah, report cards first, then you get your treat. So, Ren, how'd you do? <gasps> Good job, baby! <laughs> yeah, that's so me. Come on, sue me. Open it up. That's not bad. See, and you thought it was going to be bad. Sure is, babe. I know, I know, I know, I know how she feels. Oh, I still good. I, I did good in school. Right. I know that feeling. Hmm. 
No. It's time for you to go back in the ocean. Not really ocean. Lake. Oh. Hi. Mm-hmm. You gonna name him Salt too? What's up? <laughs> Come on! Time to go home, stay up all night, and then go to sleep, sleep all day. It, it's just so funny that the day I am watching this, like, the kids here... In Florida, or really just specifically in my town, they've all actually gone back to school. So, today is only really their, this week marks their first week of going back to school. I felt so bad for these kids on Monday because, like, I also had to get up too because I had to go do my training for work and such. And I, I feel bad for anybody who has to, like, especially the time that I had off from going from transitioning from working at UPS to now working at this company. Um, cause I'm, I'm not saying the name of the company. I'm not disclosing it. And I think because the things that I have read about this company, it's not the greatest. So, cause they have their own things and everything, but the place that I'm working at, like I said, we're naming it clarinet fell. Um, but clarinet fell has some ish. So I can't really say their name on here without certain things. So that's why I'm like, okay, I'm just going to name it this. But no, they're, the company is really cool. I, I will say that. The things that I'm learning, that I've learned in this past first week is really interesting. Um, but I am nervous because I've never done anything like this before, but I am confident in myself. Still a little scared though. But yeah, I think majority probably ever like everybody else in the world they're probably going back to school in like the next couple of weeks too. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, she's cute. She looks like, um, what's her face from, uh, the Angel Devil series that I reacted to, like, years ago. Gabriel Dropout! That's the show I'm thinking of. <laughs> City Lake. Taller than you. Mushroom spinach is. Oh. Yeah.
really high. Oh, baby, they're not interested in that anymore. It's all about airplanes. <laughs> Poor baby. Grapes or plums? Wanna say hi? It's so cute, oh my god. Well, you need to turn it around. You doing a selfie? <laughs> the first selfie before you even knew what a selfie was. Good job, baby. <laughs> oh, 
I, I can now see why Ryan is used in so many memes because she is so memeable. Did you give her a camera back? Oh, yeah, she did. Okay. <sighs> Look at the sunflowers. They're so pretty. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, so she can hang out with her friend. That's what I miss about being a kid. Uh-oh. Did she go home? Mm-hmm. Damn. Ring gay. I'm sorry, baby. That's the one thing that I also hated about it being good. You make a new friend, and then 9 out of 10, when summer sometimes is over or something happens, I gotta go, and it hurts. It always hurts losing a friend. This also probably was another meme because she is just standing in the void for how long? But I do feel for her.
Mm-hmm. That that is oh, oh no baby no don't cry oh no 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 oh my god no no oh, oh baby no. You know who would be her best friend? Freaking Anya. Her and Anya would have the best time together. You just see some fan art of the two of them together. Damn near almost making me cry. Like, oh my god. Poor baby. Not with the kitty. <laughs> uh. Yes, yeah, she's depressed. That'll make you feel better. There you go. Yay! <laughs> she put a photo in there. It has to be the two of them. Yay! That's so cute. <laughs> With her face. Memeable baby. 10 out of 10. She was the meme queen of her year when this came out. <laughs> I'm glad she had a good time hanging out with her. That's the one thing I love. Like, that's so freaking cute. My God. Like, making a new friend is always the best thing. I feel like now, especially in the age I am in, I will, I don't know if a lot of you will agree with me, but we're going to go ahead and ask this question. How do you feel now when you are in your, let's say, early to late 20s, early 30s and such, and how difficult do you think it is to make friends with anyone? Because of the fact is, yes, you have friends, you have, okay, so you have your friends you probably grew up with, which I do have. You have your, I would say high school friends, you have your college friends, you have your work buddies and such. But there are a lot of people, and I've seen this, that should what happened. How the fuck that happened? Don't know. Um, I've seen this mainly on TikTok, where people are like, it seems once we're adults, it's really hard to find, like, genuine friendships with people. And I, I, I feel like I agree and disagree on that. It depends. Yeah, sometimes it can be a little hard with some people uh, liking maybe the same things as you. Um, maybe due to, like, your job and such, because, like, maybe sometimes there isn't that, like, little break or whatever for you to talk. Like... For example, my previous job, I could always talk to someone whenever I, um, someone wanted to talk to me or ask questions and stuff. We're going to the beach. <laughs> going to the beach. Um, so, of course, like, me and this, uh, the person who got me into watching Dr. Stone. Uh, me and her, it took a while for us to kind of like finally really like talk, talk because I, I, once again, cause y'all know me, I'm very shy into myself. 
And, and she seems like the type of person who's very to herself. There are some people, when they come to work, they just want to come in, they want to do their job, and they want to go home. And I am a little bit of that, too, where I just dead ass want to come home, want to go to work, do my five to six, seven, eight hours of work, go to the fuck home, having to come home, maybe take a little bit of break, do videos to record for the week or even for the day, depending on what day it is, um, make my dinner and go to bed and then having to do it all over again. But me and her, we had some, we have some interests and stuff. I haven't talked to her since maybe about the week that I left <laughs> our old job together. Um, but she's still a cool person. Like I still, um, see her Instagrams and shit and stuff. Same thing with like my other coworkers who still work at that store. Um, but one guy who I was talking to, um, he, <laughs> me and him talked like a buttload about Demon Slayer. And funny enough, he was like, oh, so do you know what the heck is going to happen in like this next arc? And I was like, I don't know, but I know character deaths. And I was like, I only know two. And he was like, oh, which ones? So I told, I'm not going to tell y'all which ones, but I, I was like, I told him which, uh, which ones it was. And he was like, oh, okay. I was like, yeah, I'm not ready for their deaths. So I was like, oof. But I was like, don't tell me about this character, this character, this character, because I don't want to fucking know because if it, it if it's going to happen, my heart is already going to break regardless because I'm not ready for characters to die. Um, but he did ask me, like, other things, like, oh, how I felt about Attack on Titan, Jujutsu Kaisen, we were trying to get one of our other co-workers to kind of, like, watch something, and I told him, I was like, well, it's like this, what, I always, how, how I recommend anime to someone, and I still kind of do this now, is I ask someone, like, okay, what is your favorite genre movie-wise and such? And that's how I can say, okay, well, if you like this, go watch this. If you want something funny, go watch this. If you want something that is slice of lifey, uh, like, <laughs> slice of lifey, <laughs> go watch this, this, or this, and stuff. Because, like, because deadass, one day he asked me, um, where can I start? And I'm like, the thing is, the sky is the limit. You can pretty much start anywhere if you want to start with stuff that is, like, you know, target audience for little kids, that is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. If you want to watch something like this or something like Death Note, Death Note will always be one of those that I will really interest like everybody because that wasn't my first anime, but I would say that was my first like mature type and such because of course, like all of us, we all grew up with Pokemon. We all grew up with Sailor Moon. We all grew up with Yu-Gi-Oh! and Cardcaptor Sakura when those were like the, because I'm speaking to you like maybe if you've seen the dub versions of those show, because, like, Netflix still has, like, the Indigo League of Pokemon. And because I was using my dad's Netflix account and I'm now using, like, my mom slash mine, I, like, completely forgot that they still had it. And it's all 52 seasons, 52 seasons, 52 episodes of the Indigo League. And I kind of now want to sit and rewatch it, but because, rest in peace, her soul, um... Misty's English voice actress literally passed a week ago on Saturday. Like, it, it's still so fresh in so people's mind, so many people's mind, including myself. And Misty was, and still is, one of my personal favorite characters and someone who I can relate to till this day. It's just, it, it's gonna feel weird to go back to it and just to hear her voice and be like, and just think in the back of my mind, she's not here anymore. But she'll always be in our hearts. So probably, yeah, no, I mean... If I ever want that nostalgia, because the funny thing was, I think, what, a couple of nights ago, um, I sat and I watched every Japanese opening for Pokemon, and I was like, damn, I kind of want to watch Pokemon in Japanese now, but technically I have. I've watched uh, XY. I watched that, and once again, XY is the best, best. Gave me OG Pokemon feels, and I loved it so much when I watched it all, all those years ago, like a couple of years ago. But it was still so good. Definitely want to rewatch it. I haven't rewatched it in a moment. But no, 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 no. Seriously, like this, these two episodes are really sweet. Yes, the once again having to meet someone in the summer and seeing them, you know, eventually have to go back home to their own home because you know school starts. Yes, it totally sucks. So I, I get run getting upset and stuff because you know anything really happens somebody has to abruptly leave and the next you know you're like oh I can't wait to play with you tomorrow and then something happens and such but seeing her cry was so sad but dead ass once again her and Anya would be the best of friends 
Yes. I can see them. At the, like, every day, hanging out. The mean queen. Like, okay, no, 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 no. Let me go ahead and ask this. When the hell did this show come out? Because, like, this had to come out. No, we're going to, let me look that up real quick. So, hush. Hush. <laughs> Don't look at me. Let me see. Da, 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 da. Shit. I, I love having nails, but I hate having nails sometimes. Okay. This show came out in 20... No, no. This show, anime-wise, came out in 2013? 2013? 2013. So, oh my god. Damn! A year after I graduated high school! That is nuts. Um. Damn. Damn. <laughs> but yeah, she was the meme queen of 2013. 2013 if we could go back so many years ago just like <laughs> if I had started my YouTube channel like right out of high school and such but no your girl decided I'm gonna wait until 2016 to start my YouTube channel and start with freaking Kajo a magical girl rising project and then go from there but yeah <laughs> how my life would have been if I had done it earlier but you know hey God works in mysterious ways. But no, these two episodes are really good. Seriously. Going into the scary movies territory and then summer territory and such. Like, seriously, so freaking cute. Honestly, I'm super, once again, excited for the next two episodes. Of course, we're going to have a beach day, obviously, because we're still in summer for these girls. Um, I think we're going to be in summer for, like, probably the next two, maybe four episodes, and then we're going to go back to school for them. So, yeah, I think this is going to be really great for them. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episodes three and four of Nyan Nyan Bayori. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys all officially next Saturday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes five and six. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.